Okay, for my next frame, I'm adding these flames. I'm going to do Command-0 so they line up. And so you see I got the little flicker of the flame for when the hat goes a little bit higher. But what I also want to do is I want to start darkening. So this frame introduced the idea of flames. This frame now, the hat will be a little higher because I'm doing consistent movement on the hat. There we go. Now this flame is revealed, but I also want to start darkening the mustache itself. So could I just start darkening the mustache? Well, the problem is, what if I need to get back to this frame and these components? If I darken that mustache without making a duplicate first, then I could never reproduce this. So that's when you want to make a duplicate. I'm not just changing its opacity. I'm not just changing a layer style on it, like a drop shadow. Those are things that could be turned on and off. I'm actually going to be substantially changing it. So I'm going to make a duplicate of it, turn the one off below it. And then on that duplicate, I am going to just select all the empty space. Then select inverse. This is a way of masking. And then I'm just going to start painting right onto it. Remember, we can do that. And I have dark brown selected. So I'm just going to start painting with a brush. We're going to learn how to make our own brushes here. There are very basic brushes within Photopea. Let's see. But I want it to be a soft brush at maybe 50% opacity, nice and large, and 0% hardness, right? And I just want to start hitting it at the edges like this. No, that that's on the copy. Yeah, so underneath it looks like that. Now that's on top. Now I'm also going to do another little thing that I think would look cool, because that brush is really basic. I'm going to set that layer to dissolve. And what that does is give it this little broken noise. You'll see it as I change the opacity. So that's going to be a little bit of the disintegration of this mustache for this next frame. And then I might also just add a little bit up here. But I'm missing something. I've got to turn the nose back on, right? And I got to turn the monocle back on. So now this is my next frame. Command zero to frame it up. So from that to that. <laughs> Now it looks like he's breathing fire from his nostril. So before I move that over, I might make a slightly different decision with this flame now. I have that marked as orange. And maybe I just make it a little bit smaller because that I don't want his nose to get singed necessarily. I wasn't planning on changing the nose. Though that kind of would be fun. You know, I'll just go ahead and change the nose. I have time. So I'm going to duplicate that, and then I'm going to do the same thing with the nose, except instead of painting on it, I'm going to do a layer style. And I'm going to do a gradient overlay. I'm going to make it really subtle. Instead of it being black to white, I'm going to make it skin color. I'm going to steal it from here. Say OK. Two another skin color. <laughs> this will be just at the tip. To a pink. All right. Say OK. Here, there's a lot of OKs in layer style. And now I want to apply it. I need to reverse it. So there we go. And now I can take that opacity down. 
So now this nose is just going to get a little warm. Right. And for good measure, because I duplicated it, I'll select the empty space around it, then select the inverse. So I have a stencil for it. And then I'll just do a little bit of that painting of the, the darkness. Oops. Why did it not work? Let's see. Let's go darker. Huh. Interesting. Because it's blending that layer style in. So I'll do it on a layer on top. There we go. Just singe it a little bit. And then I'll merge. Actually, I don't want to merge those two together, but I'll put them in a group together. So now I'm getting pretty complicated with these little effects. But that's going to help me keep that nose feeling different as these flames are going. And it's going to give more power to those flames. And speaking of those flames, I'm going to... I just don't like the shape of that one. Sorry, of this one. Just going to squeeze it a little bit. All right, so this will be my next frame. And I've just added a bunch of assets, a good time to save, Command S. If that looks right, that looks good. I am now going to select all my layers from the top to the bottom. More layers all the time in these assets. Hold down Option, Layer, Merge Layers. Command A to select all, Command C to copy it, go to my stage, paste it in. Boom, 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 boom. And now you start to see immediately that those flames are having an effect that's going to get worse and worse on my character. Let's also save my stage. Okay, next, the hat moves up more. Oh, but I got to deselect. So now the hat's at its topmost part. I need to have the Oh, that's something I didn't think about. Let's see, the nose. Where is it all? From here, I need that that portion of it from before. I'm going to move that up above. There we go. So I've got this folder. This is the nose tip. That I can play with. And I'm going to start by taking my flames and flickering them again. So there's this one. I'm going to duplicate it. Option Command T. Flip it horizontally and maybe grow it a little. All right. And then this one, I'm going to duplicate it. Option Command T, flip it horizontally, and then distort it a little to grow it. I want to grow its base and stretch it up. Up to there. I'm going to make these additive so that the flame, because flame never gets less, right, until the thing's all consumed. So I'm going to leave the layers on behind it so that those layer styles get brighter and brighter with each addition. Okay. Also that kind of smudgy shadow behind it. Then I'm going to take the mustache that I darkened and duplicate that. And now I'm just going to go first just to adjustments and levels and darken it that way with the midtones. Right. And then I'm going to start biting away at it with my eraser. and turn off the mustaches behind it 
and you'll see they'll start it'll start to look to crumble because of the dissolve I have. All right. See if that's enough. Well, oh, then I need to make the nose a little bit brighter. So I go to my nose tip. I go to my layer style. This gradient overlay, and then I can just, this is where you don't need to make a duplicate because I can always just increase the opacity. Now it's up to 100. And again, I just built new flame assets. And I'm going to hit Command S to save it. And then I'm going to select all of them, all the layers, holding down Shift, top to bottom, hold down Option, Layer, Merge Layers. Select all with Command A, Command C to copy and then go to my stage, Command-V to paste it in, Command-S to save. So now I've got 15, oh no, I think it's 14 actual frames. And his mustache is really getting beaten up, right? And I've kind of built in my timing here now. So I know that it's going to take three frames for the hat to come back down. And in all those times, I need to keep working on that mustache. So these frames are more involved than they have been. And that's usually how these kind of transformation animations work. The transformation builds and builds. It makes it more entertaining. So I deselect and then delete the merge layer. And then we go to the next step. And now I'm going to make that nose even darker by going to hue saturation this time. And then just going right to pushing it towards the reds. Oh, but that's not going to work until I rasterize that layer style. Because I already pushed the layer style to 100%. So now I just do it through direct adjustments. Hue saturation really make it glow. Towards those reds, so that's at 40. Okay, now the flames keep flickering. Duplicate, keep growing. Flip horizontally and grow a little bit up. I'm tempted to have them singe the hat, but I don't want to do that because I don't need the hat to be a clean element when it still comes up and down. So it's all on a case by case basis for what's going to tell your story. Okay, next flame, duplicate it. Option Command T, flip it horizontally, let's distort it. And let's, there we go. All right, now I need to work on the mustache a little bit. So I'm just going to see duplicate it again. And this time, image adjustments, levels, make it even darker by pushing those midtones darker. And binding away at it. This time I'm going to use 100% opaque eraser. And I'm going to make it hard. So now all I do is tap 
and this feels like it crumbles.